So apparently Gotham Knights is one of the games that runs better on Windows versus SteamOS. But is it actually true? Let's find out. So right here we're playing at 1080p, lowest settings with no upscaling, and we are sitting into the mid-50s. That's already below Windows 11. I was sitting at 60 FPS here, so we are like down by 2 or 3 FPS. It's not a massive, like I guess, difference, but it is lower. And driving, it fell down into the low 40s, and then back up into the low 50s. And right here it is the low to mid 40s and up into the high 40s. On Windows the game did stutter and freeze as well for a second. It wasn't major but it did happen. And on SteamOS it is definitely... It's far better in terms of I guess stability. I can't feel any stutters or I guess any freezes. But FPS wise it is definitely lower. It's falling into the low 40s far more consistently versus Windows 11. And while driving, the GPU was down to around 85% or 80% on Windows 11. On uh, SteamOS, it is maxed out. 96%, 97%. Okay, so let's go back, enable FSR, and see if we gain any FPS. Now on Windows, the FPS was the same. Like 50 FPS, pretty much on average. But let's see how we go over here on SteamOS. Driving up. So far... The low 50s and the mid 50s and the GPU is down to 85%. So very close to Windows. And FPS wise, high 40s, low 50s. Pretty close to Windows to be honest, it is pretty close. And again, the stuttering is definitely, I guess, happening far less here versus Windows 11 as well. Trying out a GPU band scenario here, playing at 1080p, FSR on. It's the high settings minus the V distance, that is on medium. And we are sitting at 46 FPS here. 48. So Windows we had, I guess, the mid-30s up into the low 40s. And on average, it is the high 30s, I guess, like 37 FPS, 38 FPS on Windows. And over here on SteamOS, it is pretty close. I think it's the exact same, to be honest. It's 41, 42, 44. The peak is definitely higher here versus Windows. I think we peaked at 42 FPS. And to be honest, the average FPS is also higher as well. It's sitting at 37 up to 44 quite easily. Now the stuttering is about the same now as Windows to be honest. It's happening far more consistently, which isn't great. But I would say FPS wise, it does better on average with these settings. Playing at 100p, same settings. And this gave us a pretty much locked 40 FPS on Windows. At times it would fall down to like 38, 39, but I guess for the most part it was a pretty good 40 FPS lock. And the same thing is happening here, guys. 48 FPS, I think. I mean, really, it's higher than Windows here. Like 48 FPS, 47, 49, 50. I would say it's better than Windows. And it hasn't fallen below 40 yet. On Windows, it fell down to 38, to be fair, but it did fall down at the start. Oop, there we go, 38 FPS just then. So it does happen here as well, but again, on both systems, it was for a split second. So yeah, there we have it there. I think it's pretty good on both platforms. It isn't the most optimized game in general, but again, it does run pretty good on both OS's. Now, one thing that I didn't test on my last video with Red Dead 2 was the battery life, or I guess push the system with low wattage. But let's try it now. So on Windows, I tried 720p with balanced FSR, lowest settings, and uh, I tried 10 watts to begin with. And that was pretty bad. It would fall below 30 FPS immediately. And uh, that wasn't going to work. So I tried 11 watts, and that was a lot better. It could hold 30 FPS, but at the same time, while driving, it would fall down below it into the high 20s. The stuttering was pretty bad as well. Lastly, I tried 12 watts, and that was a far more stable 30. It would really hold like 32, 35. And yeah, that was the sweet spot. That was the spot for 30 FPS for this game. And on SteamOS, it is pretty close. It can fall down below 30 quite easily. 24, 26. It is not a stable 30 at all with 10 watts. So let's try with 11 and see how we go there. Now at 11 watts, doing much better, sitting at 33, 35. A slight dip there below 30. Doing pretty good, I would say. Doing pretty good. It does fall down by like 2 FPS below 30. But while driving, it does pretty good. Now, 12 watts, we could get 35 
on Windows 11. This one is kind of inconsistent. It can hit 35, but at the same time, it can fall below 30 as well. So, yeah, it's a mixed bag, but it's pretty close to matching the 12 watt mode on Windows. And lastly, guys, 12 watts. Let's see if SteamOS can actually beat Windows 11 in terms of efficiency. Again, with this one, we had 30 to 35. SteamOS doing quite a bit better, sitting at 35 to 40. And the lowest point has been 31. So yeah, a few frames higher than Windows with this one. Again, I think both are fine. They're both playable. At times, we are gaining some FPS by being on SteamOS, but it's really by like 3 or 4 FPS. So... I mean, it's decent, but it's not a massive jump like it was in Red Dead 2 or the other games that I tested in that previous video. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time for the next video. See you guys there.